welcome back to my channel. It is me, Zoe. I'm so happy you're here today. Um, yeah, I know the background's a little weird, but I am just quick filming a hygiene collection video because I haven't done that. I don't know. It's been since before summer. I think it was four or five months ago, maybe, I think. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I have added a few things, used a few things up. So yeah, I just don't have a lot of time to film a formal intro, so... Yeah, but um, I'm going to do a whole collection, bar subs, everything. I'm going to talk through each product. So if you guys enjoy that, just keep on watching. Let's get into it. So for this collection, we're just going to go brand by brand. So the first thing I have for brands is Dove. And the first thing I have is the Dove Body Wash Mousse with Coconut Oil. So it's also perfect for shaving. Um, this is very concentrated, 10.3 ounces, you're about $5.96 at Walmart, which is where I get most of my hygiene products, um, because I don't shop at Target because there's literally none around us. So, yeah, um, this smells really good. It definitely has a coconut oil scent. It's amazing for shaving. It is my favorite shave cream, and I will repurchase it after I run out. Um, I'm about halfway done. It's really nice. It's, like, just a foaming... It doesn't, it's not foaming. It's a nice plush foam and it smells really nice and it gives me a really smooth shave. And it's um, quite moisturizing. I wouldn't use it as a body wash because I don't think it'd get much cleaning done, but that's that. Now on to some other things. First I have the Dove um, Nourishing Care uh, Rich Nourishing Cream. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is 2.53 fluid ounces. Um, this is a dollar, and I honestly really don't like this. It is not my favorite at all. It's too thick, too chunky, doesn't smell the, the best. Um, yeah, I don't like this that much. I probably won't ever use it again. I don't know why I keep it, but maybe I'll give it to my mom because she gets really dry hands, and this is really thick cream. I just don't like that. It's not my favorite. I know other people like it, like Living Ash said she liked it. That's why I bought it, and no shade toward her. I just, I just don't... Um, enjoy this product for my body so yeah next we have scrubs um the first one is the dove exfoliating body polish with brown sugar and coconut butter this is one of their deep scrubs um yeah it smells really nice it's a very sweet um buttery brown sugar scent um it's really nice it's perfect to go with like any coffee scented routine or shea butter and brown sugar shea butter and oatmeal that kind of stuff really nice for that then we have the Dove Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. Now this is like a two, I think. This one smells really good. I used to have two of these. I used one up. It's amazing. It smells really fruity and nice. I don't like the body wash scent in this, but I like the scrub scent. So yeah, and next we have two of the um, Dove Crushed Macadamia Rice Milk. I'm halfway done with this one. This one's full. This one smells really nice in the shower. It smells kind of coffee-like, really pretty. I absolutely love it. Would totally repurchase that to use those up. And then down here, we have the Dove Silky Nourishment Body Cream, 10.1 fluid ounces. Uh, this is a nice medium consistency cream. I got this at uh, Burlington for $3.99. Really nice um, cream. Yeah, totally recommend. Nice, um, just not really super scented cream. The next thing I have to show are my Dove bar soaps. And the first one I have is the Dove Sensitive Skin fragrance-free hypoallergenic beauty bar, a quarter moisturizing cream. This is 2.6 ounces. You can get these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar or at um, Walmart in multiple packs. You can get them other places, Amazon, Target, pretty much anywhere. You can probably get them at Meijer and all kinds of different places. Most places will have these. You can all find these at department or not a uh, discount stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, but this is really nice. Um, I have already gone through one of these. It has become probably my favorite Dove bar. It's just a nice, like, it's not this squeaky clean, like, um, stripped squeaky clean, but it just makes you feel very clean and refreshed. So I totally recommend this. And then the next bar soap stacks I have are the Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Beauty Bar, and these are in the cucumber and green tea scent. So yeah, I have eight, nine, ten, eleven bars of these. I got these in a 16 pack. So I have used um, five of them. I really like them. Obviously, if I used five, I like them a lot. Um, yeah, I still have quite a few to go through. If I use like two a month even, that's still um, almost six months of use if I used two every month. So yeah, next we have the Dove Deeply Nourishing um, 
body wash. This is the big size. This is like 25.3 fluid ounces. I get these at Menards because um, they're usually on sale and I really, really love them. So yeah, this one I just use for my downstairs area, although I am using something different right now. But I wanted to save it because I'm going to use it winter when it gets drier and probably end up using this as normal body wash as well. And next I have the big size of the Dove Gentle Exploiting Body Wash. Again, this is the 25.3 fluid ounce size. Um, I've had the, um, I think I've had, no, I've never had the Gentle Exploiting um, Body Wash before, but this one smells kind of like apples. Um, and I really think I'm gonna like it because it'll give me a little bit of exfoliation um, so that um, my skin doesn't get so like flaky in the winter, if you know what I mean, just rougher. But yeah, really nice. It smells like apples, a good scent. Next, we have the Dove Nourishing Secrets Ritual, Restoring Ritual Body Lotion with Coconut Oil and Almond Milk. You know, if you know, you know that I pair this with um, Pink Coconut Calypso. It smells amazing. It is a very um, coconut oil scented um, body lotion, and it has a really nice almond milk scent as well. You can find these at, um, I think you can only find this scent at like, Dollar General right now in the bigger bottles for like five bucks. And then I have this mini Dove Relaxing, if it focuses, Relaxing Body Wash. But yeah, it's really nice. I think this is like a eight fluid ounce or something like that. This is um, Jasmine Petals and Coconut Milk. Really nice. And I really need to get my camera refocus. But this one smells really nice. Slightly floral, but nice nonetheless. I forgot to mention that I have another Dove Body Polish in Kiwi Seeds and Cool Aloe. This one I got for $4.99 from Burlington. And this is a really nice, fresh, slightly fruity, more fresh um, body polish. And it is this like really nice green color as well. So yeah, I have this one as well. I forgot to mention So that. next I have my Olay products. And right here I have three Olay bar soaps. And these are just the plain old Shea Butter scent. These are nice and moisturizing. Um, they're not stripping. They're not super like oily moisturizing, but they're really nice. And I love them. And I got these in a six pack, so I've already used three, so that's pretty good for me, you know. <laughs> Oops. Next, I have an A Ole body wash, and this is the Cleansing and Nourishing Hyaluronic Acid, the pink one. This one smells really nice. Um, it's a very like perfumey, kind of fruity smell. It's really nice. Um, 17.9 fluid ounces. You can get these for I think $7.99 at Walmart and Target, and you can obviously get them other places as well. The last LA product I have is the Rinse Off Body Conditioner and Shea Butter. It smells more of a manly scent, like a musky, I don't know, more of a manly scent than Shea Butter, but it is nice and perfect for shaving or moisturizing. So for Yardley products, I have um, two bar soaps that are unused and one that's being used. So I have the limited edition Sparkling Mandarin and Ginger with orange oil. This definitely smells more orangey than gingery, but it's really nice. And over here... I have this one, which is the Yardley Creamy Coconut. This one smells really, really good. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And in the shower, I have the Shea Buttermilk one. So let's go on to my St. Ives products. So the next product I have is the St. Ives Soothing Body Lotion in Oatmeal and Shea Butter. This is really nice. It is 21 fluid ounces. I believe these are $4.93 at Walmart. I don't know any of the prices anywhere else, but this is really nice. It's a very lightweight lotion, but also pretty moisturizing. Definitely stays on your skin for a while. Like, it seeps in, but it keeps your skin moisturized for a while. Smells really nice. And to match with that, I have the matching body wash, which is the St. Ives Oatmeal Shea Butter Body Wash. The body wash does smell um, sweeter than the um, St. Ives body lotion in the same scent. And this was $4 a Dollar General. I know they are $4.99 for a 21 fluid ounce size at um target and at walmart they sell the really big one i think it's like 32 fluid ounces maybe yeah, yeah i think twice the size for 4.97 so those are those let's get on to my caress stuff the first thing i have is my caress emerald rush bar soap the notes are lush gardenia and white tea essence you can only find these at like burlington tj maxx ross or marshall's and that's like if you can find them there like off and on but these can the other places can be found um in store is at big lots so yeah i got this it is not my favorite i have used two one is in the shower almost gone and i don't love it so yeah it's not my favorite but you know it's okay next i have my crest shea butter and brown sugar bar soap and i have two of these 
You can find these at Dollar General. This is the newer packaging. They also have the older packaging available as well. And it came with three and I've used one. I really like these. They do have a little bit of exfoliating beads. So they're really nice and um, gentle exfoliant, um, barely exfoliating, but it, they smell really nice. And to match with that, I have the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Body Wash. Really nice, pretty scent. Definitely more scented than the bar soap and much sweeter. And then I have the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Orange Blossom Body Wash. Really nice, floral, like fresh, daily kind of work scent. Um, and I have the bar soap of this in my shower and just threw away the packaging or put it in my empties thing. And then I have the Caress Brazilian Gardenia and Coconut Milk one. This one smells absolutely amazing. I totally recommend getting this one. You can only find this at Walgreens um, regularly. So this is amazing and I absolutely love it. So let's go on to my Kiwi Botanicals. So the first thing I have for Kiwi, Kiwi Botanicals is this Whipped Hydrating Blind Supply. This is in the giant sea kelp scent. And if I open it up to show you guys the texture, that's what it looks like. It's a very nice thick cream and um, no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, silicones, no gluten, no triclosan, propylene glycol, formaldehyde, dyes, or synthetic fragrances. So really nice, and it's also cruelty-free. So yeah, really nice. Um, it's not my favorite scent, but this is a very thick cream, very moisturizing. Definitely recommend it if you have like really dry, flaky skin. Well, focus, because it will really help with that. So yeah, that's that. Next for Q Botanicals. I have this, which is my Q Botanicals Nourishing Shower Gel, and I hate when it doesn't focus. Yeah, um, this is in Manuka Honey. I got this at Big Lots for $2. They had this one and the Manuka Honey with um, charcoal. This just smells like honey graham crackers, really pretty, nice scent again, none of that stuff. Um, yeah, it smells really nice, and I would totally recommend this one. Um, you can probably, I think you'll find this at Walmart and Bigelots. So yeah, check those places. And last but not least, we have the Cube Botanicals Hydrating Body Lotion with Giant Sea Kelp. Again, same scent. This is about halfway gone. Um, I, it's not my favorite again, but I will end up using it eventually. And for ivory products, I have the Ivory Gentle Moisturizing Body Wash, Hint of Coconut. I've used this a few times. It smells okay, but the, uh, the formula is really nice. Very moisturizing, very creamy body wash, kind of like... Uh, the texture is even more creamier and more hydrating than Dove. And then I have the Hint of Cotton, which doesn't smell like cotton. just smells very, like, fresh and slightly fruity, kind of like a hair product. Really, really nice scent. Love this one a lot. So the next products I have are my Suave products. This is the Milk and Honey scent. This one just smells like Dolce de Leche. Um, and then I have my Coconut and Coffee. This one's almost gone, as you can see, like, two uses left in that. And then I have... As you can see, my full coconut and coffee, which is uh, amazing. Love this so much. And then I have Sweet Pea and Violet. Not my favorite, but it's pretty good nonetheless. And then for my singular OGX product, I have the Smoothing Plus Coconut Coffee Body Cream. This one smells really good. It smells like the Suave um, Coffee and Coconut Exfoliate one. That's why I pair it with this. So yeah, let's go on to my random things. I have this little up. bucket here of stuff that is random so first thing i have is my cetaphil gentle skin cleanser i use this for my um uh body not my face i use it for the downstairs area so it, it works really well it's very gentle um slightly moisturizing doesn't suds up very well but that's okay then i have my raw sugar sweet sleep well and restore melatonin lotion plus magnesium lavender and hemp seed oil so it's really nice um yeah it doesn't smell the best but that's because lavender is not my favorite um, in terms of lavender, it smells very lavendery. Um, it does have somewhat of a calming effect though, so it's really nice for that. Then another lavender product I have is shave. Oh, is this uh, EOS dupe personal care shave cream lavender jasmine? These work really well. Silk Care Catherine said they clog her drain. They do not clog my drain. I don't know if it's like the razor she's using or how often she's shaving, or if she's using like oil on her legs too. I don't know but it does not clog my razor or my drain at all, so I totally recommend. And then I also have the pomegranate and raspberry scent of that. And then, that doesn't count. <laughs> that was not supposed to be in there. Then I have my Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Lightly Fragrance Lotion. This is really good if you have parts of your body that are really sensitive, like the inside of your thighs or like really dry stuff. That's really sensitive. Like after you shave, after I shave, I will put some this on it, like really um, calms and soothes my skin. So, yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Um, 
here's the mess. There's the cats. Don't know why the video is not looking so great today. Derby rolls. You know, they're hanging out with me as I fill my giant collection. Um, not giant, but pretty big compared to my huge Beth Myers collection. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, for commenting, comment your scent of the day and what your favorite hygiene product that you own is. Um, mine would definitely be my Suave Exfoliate Coffee and Coconut Body Wash. Um, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!